All right, welcome back. Now to a halftime exclusive. I've learned that hedge fund manager Bill Ackman is preparing another major presentation on Herbalife. He's going to deliver it at the Robin Hood Investment Conference in November, I'm told. And according to the source, it will include new information that his firm, Pershing Square, has uncovered after speaking with several former employees of the company. It's been nearly a year since Ackman first spoke out about Herbalife at the Iris Zone Conference. That came in December of 2012. That, of course, is when he unveiled that billion-dollar short position and called the company a pyramid scheme. The stock got creamed that day, but so much has happened since. For one thing, Carl Icahn took the other side, and the two famously battled on this show in late January, with Icahn saying the whole thing would end with what he called the mother of all short squeezes. It certainly looked like things were heading that way, as Herbalife shares have doubled this year. But earlier this month, Ackman, who has lost millions on the position, revealed that he restructured it to cut the risk of being caught in a squeeze. But apparently his conviction hasn't changed. He continues to assail the company's business practices in several letters to Pershing's investors and has written directly to Herbalife's new auditor, PricewaterhouseCoopers, detailing what he called serious accounting issues at the company. Herbalife, for its part, continues to post strong numbers and has made a couple of high-profile board appointments, but Ackman and other shorts clearly feel some issues remain unresolved. Investors are still waiting for the company to receive its audited financials and will now be left wondering what Ackman has up his sleeve next. What do you guys think of that news? I think it's very interesting, and one of the most interesting parts about it, Scott, is that the stock's reaction here. Uh, Herbalife on that breaking news uh, is down 1.8 percent. You know, so when it originally announced that Ackman was short, when he originally announced it, I think the stock was down 30 some odd percent. That's after he presented the whole. You know, I don't know, three million sure. slide presentation. Right. But, but I think the point is, he's been in this name, and if you want to talk about a Halloween witch hunt, you know, he's done everything. He's gone to the SEC on this company. He's pretty much thrown everything in his bag so far to this point at this stock, and it has doubled. So, I mean, he has his right to be short and to express his reasons why he's short, but I disagree with it completely. Te technically speaking, you have a double top in this chart that's as clear as a bell in the low 70s. The stock hasn't yet recovered. It looks like it was on a little bit of an uptrend until you broke that news. I don't know what the day's reaction is going to be, but it seems that there's a little bit less arrogance and cockiness on the part of people who just jumped into it for the sake of playing the short the, squeeze. The, the, the question is, um, you know, do you, you now risk, I suppose, there's just inherent risk now built into this uh, in being in this stock potentially ahead of that date because you just don't know what's going to happen and what the stock reaction is. I mean, could yeah, I mean, that's a, but that's, that's a constant. And there's the same inherent risk on the short side because what if Carl Icahn really wants to do a transaction with this company uh, and he doesn't care what Ackman's presentation happens to say. What do you, so what do you make I of think the fact it's, I think it's an event-driven name. You have to be nimble. This has to be your business um, to be able to play this on a day-to-day -day basis. And for most people, it's just not the case. More to your point, right? You're, you're, you make in part a, a technical analysis on, on how the chart looks. Yeah. What about the fact that the stock really didn't do anything and is basically flat since a really good beat, yeah. and yet another beat, and the company's had a, you know posted several of them, and the stock hasn't done much. And I'm sitting here silently, and reason being is I had expected at the early part of 2013 that Carl would, would get the advantage here, and you'd see the stock rise. Well, you got the stock rise. You got earnings that were as good as we've seen for this company in multi-quarters, and to your point, you got no further appreciation. That might just suggest that this company is fairly valued at this point. And although Mr. Ackman believes that there's further downside, I disagree based on where the earnings are. And you're looking at a stock that probably just trades 55 to 70. No audited financials yet either, which is, continues to be an overhang the, on, on the whole thing, the I, CFO, I suppose. The CFO said that probably by the end of the year. And once they get that, then they can do the buyback. Well, one analyst, I mean, the, the, the one big analyst who covers the company, Tim Ramey, was saying that they were going to get this thing at the end of September right. and then do the big buyback, and that never happened, Murph. Right, and I don't know how Ackman's October is shaping up, but last day of the month, putting something out like this, you know, it's the same thing that happened at the end of last year. This could really help his return to investors if he had a major impact on the stock with this announcement. <laughs> taking a pretty good shot there, Murph. It's true. Well, we'll see what he delivers at the, uh, the Robin Hood conference. <laughs> I think November 20th, 20th, 21st, around that time. But anyway, that stock is on the move. All right, in honor of Halloween.